Okay. Hope everybody had a happy Father's Day. I'm filming this on Father's Day, but probably won't upload it till tonight. So, so what's the starter off the tractor? Notice something missing? Yeah. There it is. Half of it. The other half's in the shroud. This is the exact part number I ordered. Supposedly a Briggs replacement part. Um, I've got the. Um, the PDF of the parts breakout for that uh, 16 horse Briggs 75 1975 uh, Briggs cast iron and this is actually a backup I bought two of them the first one you look real close huh. split there after about 10 starts this happened after about two so my question is what the heck is going on? I've burned through about four of these. I got one that did maybe 15, 20 starts before it just gave up the ghost. And they, they all do this. They all break like this. This was the first one that split in half. This is the craziest thing. I don't know. So I'm going to order some more. Just, I don't know. I don't know what to do about it. This is a brand new motor, too. But I've tried a couple on the motor that came with the engine, the starter motor that came with the engine, same problem. So, times like this, I wish I could just wrap a rope around it and be done with it, but because the motor runs great, it's <laughs> getting it started, you know. Just... Anyway, so any thoughts would be oh, so helpful. Thank you. Oh, by the way, just a heads up uh, the deal on the house fell through. So, um, the lady was going to buy the house for her uh, son to rent, and that means she would own two houses, her house and this one, and because of that, the FEMA insurance was just ridiculously expensive, it was like four times the amount, three or four times the amount that you would pay if this was your primary residence, so, because of that, she bailed, so, yeah, still, again, lots of lookers, no buyers, so, yeah. Uh, I've been kind of following the house on Zillow, and it's been getting like 30, 40 views a day. Uh, something on the order of 10 or less saves, but still. Anyway, talk to you later. Bye. So, I ordered this new floor jack from Harbor Freight. They had it on sale. Mine's leaking. I figured I'd get a new one. It's raining outside. They dropped it on the front porch. And left it there on the front uh, step. Left it there. It's been out there all day in the rain. Uh, I can only imagine what it's going to look like once I open it. You can see. It's just ridiculous. Uh, you know, at least throw something plastic on it. You know, jeez. Sure, hope this isn't typical of FedEx. But they didn't ring the door. My wife was home all day. So was my daughter. They could have easily carried it in the house or something because it's only a couple feet. You know. But they didn't even ring the doorbell. They didn't do anything. They just dropped it on the front porch and then left. Didn't even say anything. Uh, so might have to return this. We'll see if it's any water got in. I suppose it's a jack. What could go wrong? But still, come on.